I ain't going through that. Pack your piece of cake, mate. No way. Can <laughs> hey! I say, do you want to have a slot? No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys and welcome back to another comparison video. We have of course got Gregorio with us. Hello. He's uh, a must for these comparisons. <laughs> a must. I just need someone else to ride the bike basically. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> I know my place. I know my place. Today we're testing the big Japanese adventure Please. bike. So I've got the new Suzuki V-Strom 1050. The old V-Strom 1050 had a 19 inch front wheel. It was geared up really as a road bike. And we've actually compared these two before with the old V-Strom. And we actually preferred the V-Strom because we only did a road test. We never yeah. went off-road. So we right. never really gave the Africa Twin much of a chance, you could argue. Yeah. But this new version has the 21. And uh, so we will go off-road, as you can see. Bikes are dirty already. So we've yeah. already had a bit of a play. So the clue's in the DE name though, isn't it? Dual yeah. Explorer. Dual. 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 Adventurer, no. No, dual, dual, the dual explorer. But the, my point is they do still do it with a 19 inch front wheel if you want it. They do two versions. So the yeah. V-Strom's got the 19 or the 21. You've just got a 21 on the Africa. On the Africa, exactly. So if that sounds of interest, grab yourself a cup of tea and uh, drop C, roll the intro. Come free. <laughs> don't wait for us, <laughs> oh, don't wait for us. No, Ignore thanks. Us. Yeah, don't it's... worry about that. No, exactly, doing bike <laughs> review, sorry. <Yeah. laughs> Here are the bikes. We've got the brand new Africa Twin 2023 model, looking rather beautiful. In the, I do love those colours. That is that is the Africa Twin colours for me. And of course, the brand new DE in the blue as well. Not the yellow, but the blue. But the Africa Twin is immaculate, so immaculate. But it does look amazing actually in this colour. It looks. I think that's short screen. Just the look of that. I know it's probably not as practical as those with a taller screen but it definitely makes it look a lot better it's also the base africa twin so this is not the adventure the adventure's got a bigger fuel tank so this is the i think it's 18.9 litre tank on this one and it comes with the sort of crew i think they're called um tires are sort of 50 50 tires and a bit more off-road based than what we got on the v-strom we are going to take these for a little bit of green lane in just to get a feel for them we're both rubbish off-road but as beginners we can give you what we we'll give you an opinion our of how verdict. good they are off-road our verdicts yeah so uh, i think without further ado he's hopping on let's hop on so here we are v-strom full tft which is very nice actually I think it's the same dash as on the 800 DE that we rode uh, previously, uh, which is a good thing because it's a nice dash layout, actually. I think the dash on the Africa Twin. You've got I've got two dashes, mate. You've only got one dash. I've got two dashboards on this one. What a letdown! Why have you Why have you got two? What's on the what, What's on the the bottom one then? The bottom one's an LCD because this has also got android auto and apple carplay so when you've got that running you've got your, you know, your speed and your gears in the other display so that that's the purpose of having the two different displays the tft and the lcd so you've still got your speed you've still got your gears and all that sort of stuff when you've got android auto running or apple carplay so the, the africa twin is definitely loaded with tech it's one of those bikes or one of the few bikes i've ever ridden where you actually need to get the manual out <laughs> <laughs> to work out how to use it but of course once you know how to use it it's all very intuitive and stuff but jumping on it it's like how do you do this how do you do that so the apple carplay though that's on it was has that is that a new thing or has it been on the africa twin for some time now then it's always had the apple carplay it's never had the android auto though so now oh, it's okay. also got android auto and i've used it i just plugged my phone in it automatically came up and launched it immediately with no faffing around bang straight in there so yeah what seems to work really well what does it feel like to ride in terms of ergonomics then? It's really comfortable. It's, it's very similar actually to the Trans Alp. We did a similar review to this with the new V-Strom DE and the new uh, you know, Honda Trans Alp and the riding position on this is very similar to that Trans Alp. You sort of, you, you know, your bars feel really high. The seat actually feels quite low and your legs are sort of forward a little bit. Very much, very much like the Trans Alp. But it's really comfortable. The seat feels wide, well padded. Yeah, it's a lovely place to be. What about the V-Strom, Greg? Riding position, unsurprisingly, very similar to the 800D that we rode probably about a month ago now. 
very natural feels a little bit enduro bars are fairly wide but seats lush really comfortable softish padding wide feet are sort of pretty much straight beneath you with a reasonable bend i guess of the knee but it's it's very nice i could um definitely spend hours on the seat so we're straight into a bit of lane action bit of lane action so the africa twins have got a full-on off-road mode which I think turns the ABS off completely, or you've also got a gravel mode, which just turns off the rear ABS, uh, reduces only, the this, power. Yeah, I'm confused. This has only got A, B, and C modes. It should, if you hold mode. it forward, I think it goes into Sorry. gravel. So if you if you push the if, if you go in the A and then hold it, or go to the TC, go to TC, go to TC, yeah. and then push that forward again, do it again. But you might have to gravel. hold it gra G. G for gravel. Yeah. So you're now graveled up. <laughs> We're both gravelled up. Is this the one we went up before? Yeah, this is, this is this is the yeah it is. We've had a bit more rain since last time we did this, so it was all dry and lovely, wasn't it? it last was, time yeah. we came out. I'm just getting used to the position on this. Where's the rear brake? Oh, let's give it some beans. The suspension on the Africa Twin is far superior for off-road than the DE, I think. This has got 230 mm travel up front. Uh, and 220 on the rear, so it's even got a decent amount of rear rear springage, and it's 250 millimetres of ground clearance. So the Africa Twin is really, uh, you know, properly set up for a bit of the gravelly stuff. How does it feel stood up? Does it feel natural on that? It feels pretty natural. Um, the bars feel a little bit close to me. It's pretty, pretty nice and wide. The bars. So it's so it's, it's different to the. Um trans out then because the bars were quite narrow on that weren't they relatively speaking yes this has got a wider bar than the trans app i'd say we won't get too close i'll stop a minute we won't get up our ass because last time we pegged it down this lane didn't we yeah and i thought did. it was a lot wider than this are you sure it was this one well yeah it's probably just overgrowing no, you can a few bit of lunch here mate a few blackberries here while we're here. <laughs> it's, it's all right i'll be falling into that in a minute <laughs> <laughs> uh, i've lost it inside the lid now you lost it just didn't get in my mouth it's it's caught in my chin strap somewhere. If I turn the bike off, will the Suzuki remember the settings? Uh, I'm going to try it. That's a little tester. Here we go. It, a little tester. We're waiting for a horse up there. Well, we're waiting for a lady on a horse, in fairness. Right, turn it back on. And is she still in gravel mode? Yes. So with the Africa Twin, I've done the same thing. I think it'll be fine it'll just stay in gravel mode. Or well, you turn it off and on again and it can change. Yeah, it's, it's all it's all as is, don't have to do anything. It's all No, that's good. I it's like all that. just it's a bit annoying if it keeps changing. Because when, yeah. when you're out on trails, you stop and start all the time and turn the I engine know. off all the time. Yeah. You don't want to keep no. fanning and, around with that. And when we were doing the Triumph Adventure experience in Spain, the Triumphs, you gotta turn it on, you gotta do it every time you start yeah. and stop it, you gotta turn everything on and off again. That's annoying, it's right, isn't it? It's a right pain. So we can tell your viewers what it's like to be kicked really hard in the face by a horse whilst on an adventure bike. <laughs> <laughs> and then punched by the owner. I'd be wishing for a bigger screen then when I'd keep the horse boots yes. out of the face. I think my Blackberry is attracting the bumblebees. Just had a bumblebee try and fly on my helmet to get my Blackberry which is loose in there. Because it's a brave horse, I don't, this is why you do get kicked in the face. I know, I was only half joking but it's actually, is it going to be alright? You're going to end up in these. There you go. Thank you. She's very good. Oh, he's very good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bang! You've been booted straight in the thorns. Right, up again. Oh, we've got some ramblers now. We've got ramblers, ramblers? now. No, I could just take those out, can't <laughs> But it's not those out of the way. Yeah. Oh, we're going to get the effort good dirty. Whee! Oh, I'm soaked. Oh, that was a foolish. Foolish. <laughs> that was foolish. <laughs> My feet are soaked. Oh no! I, I, I forgot I didn't have my full-on enduro gear. <laughs> that was foolish. I it's saw his way everywhere. And I thought I'm not having that. Woo! Yeah, it's better than the uh, Trans Out. It's definitely more accomplished in the gravel mode than the Trans Out. I think the Trans Out, in fairness. It was sort of like mainly a road bike with the ability to do something off on the lanes. Exactly. Whereas that Africa Twin is, it really is more designed for it, isn't it? Should we do a little swappies? Yeah, let's do it. Let's have our first little swappies. Right, so I'll hand the wet Africa Twin over to you. <laughs> the Suzuki is... Um, Seat's dry-ish. He's good. <laughs> It's lovely, isn't it? It's really, honestly, it's really good. So easy. I mean, I'm terrible 
on any of that sort of soft stuff and it is, it's really good it, it sort of, yeah <laughs> oh no <laughs> Look at this though, what a beauty. I'm not a massive adventure bike lover, but I think they've done a really nice job of the look at that. They're both handsome motorcycles, aren't they, I would say. As, as far as adventure bikes go, they're both, they're both pretty good looking, aren't they? My top screen is not on, is that? It it'll come on in a minute and you'll have to press the oh, button yeah. to acknowledge that you're not, you're not a knobhead and if it tells you to drive into a river with the Apple CarPlay, it's your own fault. See, one of the things about the Africa Twin that I like I, I haven't ridden this bike yet, but just as soon as you blip the throttle, the engine's just got a nice character to it. The Honda Parallel Twins sound really aggressive and throaty, don't they? They do feel they do feel quite different. I think the Honda feels a bit firmer all round. The seat's a bit firmer. Do you do you feel that's a bit softer jumping straight on the Suzuki? Would you say? Uh, the Suzuki feels a bit more agile on on the road. I'd say. Uh, I th I, yeah, I think the, the Suzuki hasn't, it's only got 170 millimeters of suspension travel on the forks and something similar on the rear. So I think it feels a bit lower on, on the Suzuki. Um, I wouldn't, it, it feels, I think, I think it feels firmer. I think the actual feedback from the road, I think is a bit, a little bit firmer on this. Cause I, I feel that this is a little bit more of a road bike than it is a full on off-road machine. I think the Africa Twin is geared up really is a sort of a literal 50 50 bike yeah and this is a little bit of a nod towards the off-road i mean the sort of stuff we're going to be doing today with gravel lanes you know perfectly out fine for this but if you were going to get a little bit more serious i think this could find itself out of its depth a little bit <laughs> a bit like me <laughs> <laughs> the suzuki just that instant throttle pickup feels it feels quicker than the honda uh, and I, I know we'll probably do a roll-on test in a bit, but do, 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 do you agree? And that's not to say, the Honda doesn't feel bad, but it, it, I think that Suzuki is quite sprightly off the bottom end. I would agree. I think this definitely feels a little bit faster. It's definitely got a more bottom end. It could be because you know, this is a V-twin, isn't it? This is a V-twin. It's, it's slightly bigger capacity as well. I think it's an extra 50 cc's or so, not much, but I think it's just that V-twin grunt. So when, when you rev this out, obviously it's probably going to lose the power at the top, but it's initially there is, it's got a bit more off the throttle. But on the Africa Twin, there's several different power modes you can play with and I'm not sure which one is full power and which one's minimum power. So user one and user two have been no, configured. No, this is, this is full power. So that full pie on P. I'm not sure it is yep. though. I'm not yes, sure it, it is. is. Well, it's I'm not be. sure it is. Well, you, you go into the other user, if you go to the other no, user mode, it's opposite. Think about it's it, got, how can it's, it, so traction's not on full because there's a slice of the pie missing. Yeah, and I, know, then, I, I know it makes sense like that, but you, you see how it feels when you go between user mode and user two. And well, someone else told me it was around the other way as well, which is not oh, Really? So, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, I would, I would, my initial thought was, yeah, full, full pies, full well, power. Well, I'll check it. Pull over in a minute. I'll change it then because that might be oh, the all, reason all that this feels... All you've got to do, you've just got to yeah. go to user mode two because it's configured the opposite. Oh, okay. All right. So go to user mode oh. two and I've, I've configured that opposite. So you'll have... One yeah, yeah, bit of okay. Pie. Yeah, I, I, okay, I've done that then. Let's see then if it feels like it's a bit punchier. I, I think you're right, but I don't. I, don't it's, I can't notice any difference between the two. <laughs> I'm just buying a car at the moment, so I can't test whether now that I'm in user two and it's saying that it's only one slice of the P pie. <laughs> it's a bullshit <laughs> phrase. <laughs> Piece of the pie. I like the lower screen from when I'm riding it on the on the Honda, which I know is is nothing because you could probably swap the screens on any africa twin but i think it it just get better visibility it just feels more natural to me i love the sound of that engine as well off the throttle is lovely it sounds lovely doesn't it it does sound lovely but I, I do i do feel the suzuki's got a little bit more punch at the bottom i also think it's it handles a bit nice on i know we haven't done any twisties yet but just initially jumping on it I've got a more more confidence in the corners on this, but I mean again, it's not entirely fair because the Africa Twin's got 50/50 tyres on. You've got sort of semi nobblies so you know, that obviously doesn't give huge confidence when you've got a semi nobbly tyre. So it's still a little bit difficult to compare them directly. We need the same rubber on them, really. No, I can't. I'm, I'm with you. So in this power mode, which you think is more power mode than user one, it feels exactly the same. It feels exactly the same, doesn't it? Yeah, so, so, so we must be doing something wrong though, surely. Oh, well, unless it's just so subtle that you can't, you can't really yeah. notice it. 
Yeah, so I, I wasn't sure, but either way, it, it feels the same. It's actually also 25 kilos lighter than the Suzuki. Yeah, I saw that. It's a lot. That's quite a lot, isn't it, actually? If you think about a, your average holiday suitcase is about 20 kgs, that, that's more than that difference, which is quite a lot, isn't it? I like the dash. I know it's got two little screens, but the dash is very high. And I like that because you can literally, it's almost like a head-up display because you can see everything, but it's your little glance down, you can see everything that's going on. And um, it feels cool, I would say, to ride. And that engine's got a glorious note to it. I love it. I agree. I, I like all the tech with the Africa Twin as well. This V-Strom is very basic, isn't it? I mean, there's nothing wrong with basic bikes. And it's easy to use. You can jump on it. You can work out how to do it all straight away. It's very simple. The Africa Twin, you've got a lot more tech there. You've got the Apple CarPlay, you know, you've got all sorts of stuff you can adjust through the menus. When you plug in that USB to your phone, you then got all of your phone stuff appears, all your contacts, all your calls. So, you know, from a tech point of view, it's definitely absolutely laden with tech compared to the, the V-Strom. Although, to be fair, I, I'm not sure my off-riding skills are quite at the stage where I can check te text messages coming in at the same time as avoiding boulders. <laughs> what's quite incredible though, go left here, Greg. Left, what's quite, what's quite, right. Sorry, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, like to I like to keep you on your toes. I like to keep you on your toes. <laughs> what's quite incredible with that though is, is the Africa Twin is actually cheaper than the V-Strom. Yeah, that is incredible. If I if I had to guess, I would say the Africa Twin was the more expensive bike, maybe even by a couple of thousand pounds because of all that tech, everything else. I think so. And the other thing, it doesn't come with a quick shift. The blipper is standard at, at this price point, but the clutch action and the gearbox and the throttle response is so nice on the Honda. I honestly don't think you need it. So you're right. So in gravel mode, the P, which must be for power, is on four blocks. You'd imagine must... that would be down, wouldn't you, for going off no, road? That therefore, must mean that your mate was right, saying that if it if the pie is full, it's low power, which makes no sense. I would agree. But it can't be full power in gravel mode, can it? That just... You wouldn't imagine off road you want no. full power, would you? You want it dialed back, wouldn't you? Exactly. So, so so it's a bit weird, isn't it? Hang on, let me just let me just put this back into. I don't Come know. On, I'm not even going to. Just everyone. You just told all your viewers it's dead simple, and you can't even fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on, shall I even bother? Shall I even bother? Yeah, do it, put it in gravel oh, mode. I better, I better do it now, we've got, we got to test it all, haven't we? How'd you do it? Yes. Oh, Jesus, straight away, there's tyres on this. I'm all over the place. Oh my God, John, where are you taking us? But to stand up on, I think this feels a little bit nicer. Which way am I going? Straight, yeah. <laughs> not, not through that hedge. <laughs> straight through the hedge. <laughs> are, you, are you saying the Suzuki's nicer? I think the Suzuki feels nicer to stand up on. Yeah, it, does, it feels very natural, doesn't it? Yeah. And this and these tires are, are without any nobbles, this is pretty this is pretty nasty. Oh my god. I ain't going through that. Hang on, hang on, wait for me because I'm way behind because this is all over the place on these tires. I ain't going through that. <laughs> <laughs> no way, not with not with this gear on. It won't be very deep, it'll no, only be like a I'm not doing that. No way, I will end up coming off. <laughs> god, this, are you gonna do it? No, 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 no. no. Um no way. We need enduro bikes for that. Shall I, I just see how deep it is? Let me, let me just see how deep it is. I'm going to do it. Well, I'll see how I'm deep watching it. you. I'll see how deep it is. No, it's a piece of cake, mate. No way. It's, it's a piece of cake. It's, not, it's only like three inches deep. Is it hard oh, underneath? underneath? Yeah, it's not, it's, not, it's not dodgy at all. Honestly, it's a piece of cake. Oh, I don't want to do it, yeah. <laughs> Just go slow like that. Honestly, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. You've got the nobbles. You'll be I'm all right. Oh, come on, I'm not doing it. Come I'm on. not doing it, no. Come on, honestly, it's fine. I don't want to drop it. <laughs> don't Hang drop on. it. I'm, I'm turning round, I'm turning round. You turn round. I'm not doing I'm that. <laughs> there you go, I'm having a tantrum. <laughs> He's not doing it. He's not doing it. Hang I'm on. not doing it, I don't want to, honestly. <laughs> Just looking at that puddle, you know when you sort of up high and you think, God, I'm going to fall off this because it's high? Yeah. Just looking at that makes me want to, I'm just going <laughs> to flop into it. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. <gasps> yeah. oh, this is horrible on this. <laughs> it's, it's very sloppy. 250 kilos it's and so no wet, isn't it? It's really slippery. Yeah, it is. I mean, the, these bikes are a lot more intimidating off-road than the little middleweights we were on the other week, aren't they? I'll tell you what, though. The gravel mode on this is really nice. I just gave it quite a bit of throttle through that really slippery. And it, it totally looks after you. It's very clever. It does. It's, it's much more sophisticated than the Trans Alps gravel mode. 
so, so the effort so we were talking about prices before you bottled off the off-road <laughs> so the <laughs> effort between i think well, i'm gonna have that shame now published <laughs> online you've got to cut that bit out <laughs> maybe like we need to take you on the uh, the off-road school don't we that's what i need <laughs> We might have to do that. We maybe I'll do that. Anyway, yeah, so the Africa Twin is just over 13. Now I'm going into prices, I can't remember exactly what it is, so I'll put it on the screen. But it's just over 13. The Suzuki's like 13.6. Um, but then the Africa Twin doesn't come with a quick shifter, the Suzuki's does. The Africa Twin also doesn't have an engine. Uh, it has a bash plate, but not an engine guard. The Suzuki has a bash plate and an engine guard. So if you add the O's extras onto the Africa Twin, it's about 50 quid more expensive than the uh, Suzuki, so almost identically priced. But you don't have to buy those extras on the Honda, so you could arguably get it for less. Oh, it sounds beautiful. It's so smooth. It's a lovely bike, isn't it? It's very good. It's, I think, it's bloody impossible to fault, actually. The brakes are nice. It feels so well made. It's balanced. It's lovely. I think the Suzuki, the brakes are a bit better, a bit sharper on the Suzuki. I think the suspension's firmer as well. Because like I say, I think this is sort of not really a full off-road motorcycle. What it is, I, you know I said this was the Honda was firmer when I got on it. The seat is firmer. Ah, yes, the seat is firmer. You're right, you're yeah, right. Yeah, and I think that's that fooled me. And you're right, it's not, the, it's not the suspension itself, it's the seat. The seat on the Suzuki is very plush and soft, isn't it? And, and it's a bit more off-road uh, orientated on the Africa Twin and it's firm. It's not uncomfortable, it's just quite a bit firmer. Yeah, you're right. That, that's exactly what it is. But the actual suspension and the brake feels a bit softer. Yeah, I agree. And that's just what we said about, you know, the, the, the Trans Alp and the, and the 800DE. You know, the, it's funny that the 800DE was a more accomplished off-road machine and I think the, the, the 1050, which is what you want if you're going off-road. You know, it comes down to what, what the bike's going to be used for, doesn't it? Oh my god, look at it. Look at it. Well, I'm going to sit this in gravel rash mode. What's the difference between off-road and gravel then? Well, I don't know. Off-road could be full ABS off maybe. Should I do off-road then rather than try, gravel? Try off-road, yeah. Not, what line do I take here? Do I go round it and across? <laughs> to the right, the right lane, I reckon. The right... Oh, the puddle you want about. Oh, you yeah, go so straight go through the puddle. Straight, straight through, through it. it. Well, no, you go through the sloppy bit there, look, and then... This bit here? Yeah, yeah, and then... Just straight ahead. Stay, stay on the right-hand track, if you sort of mean. Yeah, that's it man. <laughs> oh my god, it's slippery. Yeah, I do prefer the position stood up on the V-Strom. I do prefer for, for a taller guy. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a nice... I can grip it much harder between my thighs and... <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it feels nicer. I'll gear you in first. Yeah, I'm in first, yeah. Yeah, me too. I'm debating whether to knock it up, but... Don't get it pregnant. We've only just met. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wet glass, wet glass on road tyres. Nothing wrong with the Honda, though. Oh no, I mean it's. Uh, I say it's got the ground. It's, I think this is limited on ground clearance as well. The uh, Suzuki compared to the Honda. So 250 millimeters on the Honda, and uh, ooh, I think it, I don't know. I put it on the screen. I think it's 180 or something on this. It's a lot less. Suspension is 170 millimetres of travel up front and a bit less on the back, whereas the uh, Africa Twin is 230 at the front, 220 on the rear. This is rutty. Oh, yeah, I'll try and stay out the ruts. I think the left hand might be better. Yeah. Get, just get in it, do you know what I mean? You ain't got to worry about falling in it then. You alright, you've got the ground clearance, I'll be the one scraping the pegs. What are you talking about? I'm completely worried about everything at this particular moment. <laughs> <laughs> the things I do for you, Chopsy, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, don't like it. Nothing wrong with a Honda though. Complete and utter novice off-road. I probably look terrible, I feel petrified. But she's looking after me. I think when it gets a bit hairy, like you've just got to power through it and you just get yeah, it done. Yeah, exactly. Get it done. Get it done. Tentative is not the way. Oh, it's a bit nerve wracking now. <laughs> I'm not worried about getting hurt. I'm just worried about like, just, no, no. just like no. bashing the bike up. You just think, oh, it'd just be horrible, yeah, yeah. wouldn't it? So we've got a little bit more laneage action up here. So am I. I'm going for it. I'm not hanging about. <laughs> He's straight off, hey, he's straight off. No oh rocket. my god, it's right central. Woo, <laughs> 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 nearly down. 
<laughs> Is it a bit rotty? <laughs> hey! Oh God! <laughs> He's down! I'm in the middle. Are you all right? I'm are you okay? Are. I'm absolutely fine. Do you want to pick it up? Yeah, I probably will. Actually. Uh, Can you do it? Yeah, well okay. done. You got uh, it? What oof. happened? Come off. <laughs> yeah, I know that, but what do you, do you The front end just went up this rut. How's it? Is it alright? Right, it? It's got, 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 got crash bars. Hardy old thing, Suzuki's. They don't muck about. I mean, we did at least 30 yards there. I can't believe that. <laughs> we can't turn around but either. Oh, no, I broke the don't. lever. I broke the lever. What lever? The clutch lever. Oh, shit. It's all right. It's just the nipples off the end. Oh, right. Okay. Right. So it's still rideable? Well, it's still rideable. Still rideable. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Suzuki. I'm sorry to say you got me <laughs> glued to <finish. laughs> Hey, I'm in. Hey. Oh, no. I'm in. We're clear. We're clear for takeoff. Now, now, now I'm worried now. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't turn around either, we're committed here, that's the other we're problem. We're committed, yeah. we are committed. We're committed, we should be committed. Does it get, does it get easier, do you think? Mm. Oh. I don't know. I've got, so that's the trouble when you've got no front grip. I'll just say that, I'm, I'm going to stand up again now. If I drop it again, I've got to do the other side yet. Oh, this is a bit... Jesus. Yeah, this is uh, this is interesting. This is these tires are not designed for actually going off-road. I think is the problem. Greg's disappeared on the Africa Twin, so yeah, off-road so ability. Here, there you have it. The official review is it's easier on the Africa Twin. <laughs> but I don't want to speak too soon because we're not off this yet. I'm blaming the tires. I am blaming the tires. Bloody hell, mate, it's, it's tight through here. <laughs> you, you can't stand up. I can't stay up, not let stand up. <laughs> <laughs> this was a mistake. It was a mistake, what did I tell you? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, the front wheel's just, I've got a mind of its own. That's the trouble, you've got 250 kilos and road tyres. Oh my God, this is bad. You got you got you got knobblies. I've got bloody road tires. I've got knobblies. You have. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> this <whoop. laughs> this was perhaps a little bit ambitious. <laughs> oh, I'm now officially shitting myself. Oh, I've just gone everywhere. How much further is it? Do you know. Mm, I'll take we're halfway. We just go very very slowly. It's just tyres, there's nothing, you know, the, the bike is, that's the fly in the face, the bike is more than capable to do this, but it's just tyres on the slippy stuff. Do you want to swap, mate? Do you want to have a swap over? Uh, wait for, do you want to have a swap? You all right, mate? Can I say, do you want to have a swap? No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Are we nearly there now? Oh, we're nearly there. Oh, God. Thank the Lord. Oh. Oh. Jesus hell, Christ. That is... I'm having that, a rest. <laughs> that wasn't fun. Let's just check the damage. Oh. Look at the tyres on that. That's good by the Yeah, no. It's Honestly. Full, full of shite. You've got some grass. Yeah, so you so snap the end of that. We snapped the end. That's the always designed to snap there, and that's why they're weak yeah. there. But apart from that, it's fine. Isn't it, it crashes pretty well. It crashes pretty well. It's fine. It's fine. That's we nothing, just, is it? We just got to drop the Honda now. So no. Big fair test. See which one crashes no. the best. I think that'll do us for the off-road stuff. It is the rider's responsibility for safe operation of this vehicle. Shit, you didn't say that on the Suzuki, did it? Would have been all right if it did. Oof. Well, that was exciting. See, what I've noticed on the Suzuki, straight away jumping back on it, is the clutch lever feels a lot shorter than the Honda's. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a little bit of a roll-on test then, Greg, I reckon, here. This would be quite interesting. I, I haven't got a clue which one is going to be quicker here. My money was on the Africa Twin. So, right, what are we doing then? Right, let's do second gear. Second gear, okay. 
Are you sure? Because we do this and then you go, no, 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 no
you know, it, it does look a better looking motorcycle than the old V-Strom. Shall I tell you what I like about the look of the Honda over the Suzuki though? I like that you've got a much higher back end and the angle of that subframe is much taller, isn't it? And for me, I think that looks nicer. No, very good. So you've got to call it then, your favourite. I think uh, you go first. Well, for me, they're, I think they're extremely close. It's quite hard, I mean, uh, but for me, I actually think I like the tech of the Honda. I like the fit and finish on the Honda. I think it's slightly better than the Suzuki. I think the bike looks, I think they both look great, but I think it looks a little bit better, the Africa Twin. Um, I like the I like the Android Auto and all of that stuff and the yeah, tech. It's your Honda then, yeah? yeah. And I'm, it's cheaper. I'm, and, it, and it's and cheaper, cheaper. There's not, there's it's not cheaper that. And, and I know that it's not cheaper if you put by the time you put the same extras on then they're literally the same by 50 quid but you don't have to put those on and it's not actually wanting for anything is it really so I, I think for me I prefer the Honda I think it's just a little bit more engaging to ride I, I think the throttle response is crisper I think it's just a little bit more intuitive and I think the tank shape for me particularly on road I prefer it's a little bit narrower and I just find it a little bit more comfortable they're both very nice but if I was going to get my checkbook out, I'm sorry to say, Suzuki, it'd be for the Honda. Yeah, I, I do think the I do think the V-Strom handles better on the road, though. I do, do, I do think it handles better on the road. So that is a big, big plus for the V-Strom. Are you only saying V-Strom. that you keep crashing off-road, though? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm finished with off-road there. I'm finished with off-road. But I, I think it handles slightly... Be- it's marginal, but yeah. I think it's slightly better on-road. So the Africa Twin is much better off-road than the yeah. V-Strom. But, yeah, for me... And, and people say, oh, we always pick one and the other, so it's fair. So just to show you that we're not sucking up to manufacturers, this Honda. is our actual opinion, we're both going to go Honda yeah, on both this. Go for the Honda. Even though the V-Strom is fantastic, and I'd always recommend everyone to try every bike they're going to buy before, because everyone's opinion is different, isn't it? So, so there we go. I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you very much, Gregorio. We've had a nice afternoon, apart from the crashing. <laughs> And uh, so we hope you've enjoyed it. And of course, we'll see See you you next time. time. Cheers. Cheers.